The Exxon Radio Show with Rob McConnell is largely an opinion talk show. All opinions, comments, or statements of fact expressed by Rob McConnell's guests are strictly their own and are not to be construed as those of the Exxon Radio Show or endorsed in any manner by Rob McConnell, Relmar McConnell Media Company, the Exxon Broadcast Network, its affiliated networks, stations, employees, or advertisers. All Hit Radio. Welcome to the X Zone, a place where fact is fiction and fiction is reality. Now, here's your host, Rob McConnell. And welcome to the Exxon, everyone. My name is Rob McConnell, and for the next four hours, I'm your host and your guide as together we cross the time-space continuum to this place that I call the Exxon. It's a place where people dare to believe and dare to be heard. It's a place where fact is fiction and fiction is reality. And the Exxon has been coming your way now for the past 19 years. And we're, you know, we broadcast Monday through Friday from 10 p.m. Eastern until 2 a.m. Eastern. The show is then repeated in its entirety from 2 a.m. until 6 a.m. right here on the all-new Exxon Broadcast Network and our vast and growing family of broadcast affiliates around the world. And we'd like to welcome WPUL and Daytona Beach as our latest affiliate. So there you go, guys. Thank you very much for being part of the Exxon affiliate family. If you'd like to give us a call, our toll-free number worldwide is 1-800-610-7035. That is toll-free worldwide at 1-800-610-7035. My email address is xzone at xzoneradiotv.com. On MSN Messenger, xzoneradiotv at hotmail.com. And our websites, www.xzoneradiotv.com. And if you'd like to listen and watch the Exxon, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days of the year. Go to www.xzonetv.com. And in the future, we're going to be adding some very exciting new programming to the Exxon TV channel. Shows by other people who also investigate the world of the paranormal and the science of parapsychology. Once again, that's at www.xzonetv.com. My guest this hour, Exxon Nation, is Carolyn Shield. And uh, Carolyn had lived in St. Louis, Missouri for most of her young life. She was raised by a devout Catholic family. She attended Catholic schools for grade, high school, and college. She graduated from Maryville School of Nursing. And um, nursing was just beginning when she can say that she helped over a thousand souls make the journey home. Now, it was a time when dying in the hospital was the most common thing. Now she welcomes new souls to this new life. Pediatrics and nursery is her new home, and she has welcomed over a thousand little souls over the past 18 years. Now Carolyn's big awakening happened over Dan Brown's book, Da Vinci Code. It was Leonardo da Vinci's two paintings, The Last Supper and The Madonna on the Rocks, that made her take a second look at what she had learned and been told in school. In Da Vinci's Last Supper, she she had come to realize that there is a woman, Mary Magdalene, sitting next to Jesus at the table. In the Madonna on the Rocks, it was Uriel, the archangel that she discovered, was booted out by the fourth, uh, by out of the fourth angelic position by Pope Zachary at the council in Rome in 745 uh, CE. Now he downgraded Ariel with seven other archangels to saints. In the Gospel of Barnabas, Uriel is one of the four angels who protect Jesus and his family throughout his life. Uriel is also the famous angel that carries the flaming sword and guards the gate of Eden. Joining me now to further discuss this and some very interesting topics this hour, Exxon Nation, is Carolyn Shield. And Carolyn, welcome to the Exxon. Hi, Rob. I'm really excited about being here. Well, you know, we're so happy that you're with us because Diane Brown's book opened up a lot of eyes and a lot of hearts to some of what I call biblical atrocities. Yes, and um, I think da Vinci Mm -hmm. is a genius. I mean, uh, what he did in The Last Supper um, showed that people can uh, look at a painting with different uh, points of view. 
All right, Carolyn, you and I have to take a commercial break. We'll be back in two minutes. Thank you very much for joining us all the way from Dallas, Texas, where Carolyn lives with her husband and two sons. Now, in her spare time, she researches and writes about stories that are unusual, and you can find many of her stories on UFO Digest. She's a big YouTube fan and is getting over 5 million views on her channel, Love You Ian, that's L-O-V-U-I-A-N. Her website, www.bepureofheart.com. I'll be back in two minutes with Carolyn Shield as the Exxon commences for tonight here in the Exxon. And you can listen to us worldwide. We're right here on our new broadcast home, Exxon Broadcast Network. Our website, www.exxonradiotv.com. And we're coming to you from our studios in Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. Don't go away. We'll be back in two minutes. Did you know that when you're on the road with limited data or Wi-Fi, you can still listen to the Exxon Radio Show with Rob McConnell, The Science of Magic with Gwilda Wiaka, X-1, Dimension X, Space Patrol, and every minute of the Exxon Broadcast Network by calling 213-401-0080, courtesy of Audio Now. No smartphone, app, or internet needed. It saves your data plan and it's free if you have unlimited minutes. Call 213-401-0080 to listen on any phone, anytime, anywhere. Remember 213-401-0080 for the best of the paranormal, parapsychology, and sci-fi radio programming anywhere, 24-7-365. Hi everyone, Rob McConnell here and I wanted to spend a moment on internet streaming. Everybody has heard about internet streaming, but not many know much about it. Did you know the internet streams just about everything? Movies. From new releases to old classics. TV shows. Almost every show, every episode, and much more. But the question has always been, how do you do it? Well now, thanks to the folks at 123 Ready TV, I have the answer for you. They have developed a simple program app, 123 Ready TV, that you install on your Windows PC, Android smartphone, or Android tablet that can have you streaming like a pro in less than five minutes. You truly won't believe how much is available or how easy it is to do until you try. And for a one-time cost of only $19.99, this product is a real winner. To learn more about 123 Ready TV, visit our website at www.xzbn.net. Hello, I'm Justina Marsh, and with my dad, Pete, we are going to present a new show called Too Good to Be True. Together, we are aiming to discover more truths about this world and beyond. Do you have unanswered questions about the world? Do you ever wonder about aliens, conspiracy theories, or the universe? There are many shows discussing subjects such as pyramids or UFOs, but we want to relay this information based on our own research, including from spiritual means. Hopefully, listeners will be helped with their own beliefs and will appreciate the psychic insights that add to the previous research and information. We both look forward to sharing this insight and beginning this journey with our listeners. Visit xzbn.net for more information about when to listen. one 800 7035 is my toll-free number. Email is xzone at xzoneradiotv.com on MSN Messenger, xzoneradiotv at hotmail.com and our website, www.xzoneradiotv.com. Once again, we'd like to welcome WPUL in Daytona Beach as our newest affiliate. My guest this hour, Exxon Nation, is Carolyn Shield. Her website is www.bepureofheart.com. And um, so what else, what really caught your eye and, and how did the Da Vinci Code and Leonardo Da Vinci basically change your life at the way you looked and perceived well, uh, those paintings? Um, well, um, it all had to do with Mary Magdalene sitting at that table, Rob. 
and all of a sudden, it's so amazing how he used that androgynous person mm-hmm. sitting, you know, that can some people can see a man and yeah. some people can see a woman, and she's sitting at that table with them, and um, I changed my whole consciousness. I mean, it went from a, I had always saw a man there, and now I saw a woman. And so it just changed my whole life as far as, and I decided, well, I need to go back and look at some of the artwork mm-hmm. and some of the sacred places that I'd been um, and look at uh, Mary Magdalene in, a different, uh, in different eyes. I, I'd always heard that she was a prostitute, read the, in the Bible that she wasn't. And so then I had to go back and look at uh, these artworks uh, with different eyes. You and see, when I went, I... Mm-hmm. Go ahead, dear. Um, uh, when I was in St. Louis, there was a uh, Magdalene statue there um, with um, unique hands, folding hands. And so um, that was that was the takeoff because um, I put uh, – I did on my quest, I did a YouTube video of looking for Mary Magdalene. And somebody in England um, saw the picture of the statue. It was the editor of Rhodesia Magazine that was on Ren Chateau's mystery. And um, uh, she said, where did you get that picture of this Mary Magdalene with his special hands and in a symbolic way? And I said, just here in St. Louis. Mm-hmm. And after that, this, this whole journey went, and it's connected to Ren Chateau um, in France. You see, I, I believe that the the powers to be in the church, in, especially in the Vatican, didn't mm-hmm. want to give women the credit that the, you know they, yes. they were due, and they did everything in their power to suppress anyone else who may have been favored by Christ, because they want, and they they wanted, and they still want the Blessed Virgin Mary to be the number one woman in mm-hmm. in 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 the uh, Catholicism. However, I totally disagree with that. If you know, I, I I believe that Christ should have loved. Apparently, he's had children. So, right. what's what's the big problem? Uh, you know that is, and you know what I think from what I found mm-hmm. is that there were people that were in the church. I will call it the underground church that believed very much like you that believed that women should have that sit at that table with Jesus, okay, at the Last Supper. And as a result, they had these hidden messages because I think they saw that this time was going to come. Yeah, I, and, and you know what? I think that people like da Vinci as well as other people who have stood up for the rights of women in, 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 uh, in, in theology over the years should be acknowledged for the crusaders that they were talking about to the quest for the holy grail but they themselves were crusaders why do you yes. think why do you think that that even female angels were downgraded if you'll excuse the expression it that is and, and isn't that beautiful of uriel mm-hmm. um he kind of paints uriel as also you can take her as a woman or take her as man I I really it was back to the Rome that men were you know the head guys and women were more like you know the, it goes back to that Adam and Eve whole deal with the Eve and the apple. Now you've made some other observations that I'd like to talk to you uh, this evening about. Now why do you think in New Orleans St. Louis Cathedral stained glass windows actually reflect the story that Crusaders brought back a great treasure? Now do you think there is an organization out there that believes that they need to keep this sacred, safe, and sound? That secret treasure of the past even in today's society? Um, I think, yeah, well, yes, I think so. Um, in New Orleans Cathedral, they have these beautiful stained glass windows that are reflecting St. Louis's um, mm-hmm. life. And um, there's been a recent discovery in uh, Ren Chateau by Ben Hamad. A cave was discovered, and there was a body there with a crusader flag on it. Um, at I saw that discovery, and then when I was at New Orleans Cathedral and saw these stained glass windows, oh my goodness, there is a stained glass window showing crusaders bringing a box with a crusader flag on it from the Holy Land. 
Um, now, the official version is that it's uh, St. Louis's body being brought over from the Crusades because he died in the Crusades. But if that was true, then the flag on the box would have been um, the Fleur de Lis for France, um, which was his heraldry. But this is a Crusader flag. Mm -hmm. And so there's always these legends you've re read about how um, the Crusaders brought back secret, uh, like something secret from the Solomon's Temple. And here you have in New Orleans, which is the home of the Acadians who were booted out of Nova Scotia a long time ago and ended up being the Cajuns of uh, New Orleans. And um, here in their uh, windows is this beautiful stained glass window of showing exactly that picture of crusaders bringing back something um, from the Holy Land. Who do you, uh, so, so why do you think that this treasure is still being kept away from the people who could actually do more to protect it, as well as to validate the, the legends that prove that Christ's bloodline still lives today? Well, um, you know, that's a heck of a good question. I, I'm not really totally sure what's going on with them. Well, give me, give me your, I give just, me your ideas. Give, give me what you think. Okay. Well, I do think that it's a matter of is the public ready for the knowledge that they've got, mm -hmm. and I do think this is also with the Vatican. Um, Vatican recently had a conference on the idea of. What happens if we find intelligent life in the universe besides yes. itself? And the Vatican has acknowledged that the extraterrestrial, if they find them, is going to be our brother. Because they have to, you know, this is going to be like we talk about consciousness, how changes of consciousness is so important. Mm -hmm. When we change our conscious to believing that we're not the only people in the universe, then that's going to be a shock to the religious uh, ideas of what some people believe. So are we ready for that knowledge? And um, in the New Orleans Cathedral, they actually kind of bring this up. On the ceiling, there is the Ark of the Covenant. And um, uh, right below the Ark of the Covenant, I saw a huge, what looks like a saucer-like structure over Moses. Mm -hmm. And I'm be I'm wondering that what what was in that uh, discovery in the Solomon's Temple had to do with um, getting knowledge from the stars, from the heavens, from somebody from the heavens that gave them this incredible knowledge, which you can see reflected in Egypt. And on that Ark of the Covenant in the New Orleans Cathedral, there is the illuminating eye of Ra on that covenant, which I thought was really interesting. Well, we must admit that the ancient Egyptians certainly had more knowledge than we will ever give them credit for, for some exactly. reason. Exactly. Yes, exactly. And you can see that some of the other people that have made some major discoveries in Egypt were just starting to find out in our, in our lives that they may have had a lot more technology than we give them credit for. What are we afraid of? It seems it seems that that modern philosophers, modern members of religious philosophies, are afraid to let us get to the truth. And you know, science and history has been lying to us over the years as well. So, isn't it time that we break away from the shepherd and and give us the truth? We're old enough. We we're big people now. We can handle it. And you know, I think we are. You know, I think I commend the Vatican for having that conference because they're they're being the first ones to really bring it out. And I agree with you. Um, yeah, we're big enough now to start taking it. And you can see more and more people are, um, you know, even NASA finding water on the moon, mm -hmm. um, you know, finding more planets out there. We're starting, you can see, Rob, they're starting to just give us little be bits of pieces of information to come to that conclusion. They, I guess they feel like they have to gradually do it. So it's almost as if they want to be able to cover their butts 
still can, yes still re- yes rob yes yeah you know, yeah exactly st- still maintain control of the flock but also give us pats on the head and say geez now you're getting better so we can give you more information but when it comes to the vatican with this conference you see i've got a different idea why they did that okay money because the more people that th- we we know for a fact that the numbers in churches like the, like the like Catholicism and and other branches of of uh, religious sects have been decreasing because the oh, churches right. have I not have seen that. Yes. been keeping up with the growth of the of the people of their flock. So in order to maintain the numbers before it gets too crucial and the Vatican has to sell off its property on eBay, uh, they had to do something. And I believe that this was their attempt at keeping the flock and bringing new members into the organization because, as everyone knows, the Vatican is the richest corporation in the world. You and I have to take a break. We'll be right back. My name is Rob McConnell. This is the Exxon, and we're coming to you live and around the world right here on the all-new Exxon Broadcast Network. Don't go away, Exxon Nation. This is the Exxon Broadcast Network, broadcasting worldwide on broadcast affiliates and satellite program providers, including CNN Broadcast Network, Sirius Satellite Network, Star Media, Good News Radio Network, Angel Broadcast Network, Wiki Broadcast Network, and WPBN-TV. For more information on the X-Zone Broadcast Network, visit us at www.xzbn.net. Hi everyone, Rob McConnell here, and I wanted to spend a moment on internet streaming. Everybody has heard about internet streaming, but not many know much about it. Did you know the internet streams just about everything? Movies. From new releases to old classics. Almost every show, every episode, and much more. But the question has always been, how do you do it? Well now, thanks to the folks at 123 Ready TV, I have the answer for you. They have developed a simple program app, 123 Ready TV, that you install on your Windows PC, Android smartphone, or Android tablet that can have you streaming like a pro in less than five minutes. You truly won't believe how much is available or how easy it is to do until you try. And for a one-time cost of only $19.99, sense this product is a real winner to learn more about 123 ready tv visit our website at www.xzbn.net you know people shudder when i start talking about the vatican it's as if oh no he's going to do it again all right so let's get our cards out on the table exo nation this is how i see the vatican it's corporate office vatican city it's satellite offices every Catholic church around. Who is the CEO? The Pope. It's as simple as that. The board of directors, the cardinals, and the shareholders, because every corporation has shareholders, the people who go to church on Sunday or throughout the week and give money into the, as their tithings, put the little money into the, the candles, uh, you know, to burn a candle. That's business. Now, if Rome would like to do something to appease not only myself, but I'm sure millions and millions of people around the world, sell off all your property. Give the money to the poor. Feed the hungry. Clothe those without any clothes. Make sure people who need medical attention get it. You don't have to live in all this great awe. Churches don't have to be so magnificent, do they? God will still love. For example, the day in the early days of the prophets and even the days when Jesus walked this planet, they didn't have big altars. And, and, and isn't one of the Ten Commandments that says, Thou shalt have no you know, any false gods? Well, when you pray to a statue, isn't that putting that statue in the same category as a god? Hmm. See, I know I'm going to go to hell when I die. I know know that. And when I'm there, I'll meet all the other people who think like I do. And 
it's it's I, I believe it's a crime. I, I really do. You know, what does it, why does it take a, a devastating earthquake that nearly wipes out 200,000 people, puts three million people in a homeless situation before the world decides, geez, maybe we should do something about that. Let's all get on this bandwagon, pat ourselves on the back and we'll do it to make ourselves look good. Well, wh- wh- why don't you do that to other countries before they have earthquakes that nearly lose, that, that has an effect of nearly taking 200,000 lives and, and devastating 3 million other lives? What about the homeless that live in major cities in the United States, Canada, and every other city in the world? What about the people in Africa? Why don't we do this all the time? Why does it take a natural disaster? And why doesn't the church sell off its big cathedrals, its big expensive properties that they hold, including the Montreal Stock Exchange, which is owned by the Vatican? Why isn't something done? Why doesn't anybody ever, ever hold the Vatican responsible and say, why don't you do this? I don't understand it. Do you understand it, Carolyn? Well, I don't understand. Um, The Vatican, at one point, the Pope was going to um, promote an ultra-conservative priest in Austria who had said uh, Katrina um, was uh, God's punishment to New Orleans. And and, And when you talk about Haiti, that's such a perfect example because there is a connection between New Orleans and Haiti. Um, Haiti and New Orleans have a French Creole mm-hmm. uh, history behind them. And no one's ever explained to me, Rob, what sin did these, and you know, I, Pat Robertson came out and talked about how Haiti was, the God was punishing oh, Haiti yeah. for their sins. And I'm sitting here going, what did these people do that deserve this, you know, kind of thing? And luckily the Pope had got so much uh, flack from mm-hmm. from this statement that he decided to rescind the guy's promotion. But it, it really does, and, and I really have a feeling that some of the stuff that I saw in New Orleans, maybe that's what's got the Vatican all in a tizzy. And, and it's so funny, when I was just there in New Orleans, they put, they I guess they have been listening, or reading some of my stuff, and they put John Paul II's name on the street where... St. Anne and uh, Pirate's Alley is, it's almost like, hey, this is our territory. It was really fascinating. Hmm. How did you start on this amazing quest that you were on? It was, like I said, it was that Last Supper picture of Da Vinci. That was it. And I went and saw this statue. I I went on a quest with Mary Mm -hmm. Magdalene and just started following. And then all of these amazing things started happening. Um, uh, so you talk about synchronicity. Mm-hmm. Oh my goodness! All of these coincidences started happening. Um, the uh, I wrote an article in Redesium's magazine about what uh, uh, the, the hands on um, Mary Magdalene. Then these hands were the same at Ren Chateau at the altar. The hands, the symbolic hands folding, was on the body that was in this cave at Ren Chateau that Ben Hamat had found. And um, I also found the hands also at the Miraculous Metal Shrine in Perryville in a, in a picture of a very pregnant woman standing next to, to the crucifixion that, it, that it, it's symbolizing Mary Magdalene. So it was just like all of these things, when I went back and looked, somebody evidently is on the same page and are putting, oh, and then the hands are uh, symbolized by Jean Cacteau, who was supposedly a grandmaster of the Priory of Zion, when he was laid out in his uh, burial, his funeral, his hands were in the same symbolic position as the, those that I found on my journey. Now, now tell me, what is the connection of the miraculous metal shrine in Perryville, Missouri, and cathedral in New Orleans, Roslyn Chapel, and the Priory of Zion? Well, um, Miraculous Metal Shrine has a special meaning for me because my father actually was, his life was saved by a Miraculous Metal. He was a policeman and got shot, and he had a Miraculous Metal in his pocket, Mm -hmm. 
and the bullet, you know, was deflected. And when I went there, I also noticed carved in marble under St. Joseph was a winged serpent. Um, and a winged serpent is a symbol that is in Rosalind Chapel at the Apprentice Pillar on the base. Um, and that's supposedly where the Holy Grail is buried in the Apprentice Pillar. That's what the legends say and everything. Well, here it is in the Miraculous Metal Shrine in Perryville, Missouri. And um, that's where the picture of this woman with the hands are. And uh, Perryville is next to St. Genevieve, which is off the Mississippi. And it's a direct line from New Orleans. In the old days, they took barges up the Mississippi. So I think these settlements were from Acadians, again, you know, from Nova Scotia, Mm -hmm. that um, brought these legends, and they decided they would put these little, just like Da Vinci did, put these little messages in the artwork. You know, I I was just just, uh, thinking during the last uh, commercial break that you and I took with the news that it it would be kind of neat to see pictures of Christ, uh, you know, in a lot of the stained glass windows, he's holding a lamb. Can you just imagine if in that stained glass window he was holding his son or his children were around him with Mary Magdalene, that it would project the family image and the strength and security of the family unit? And, And I really think that we need that in today's society. Well, you know, that stained glass window, believe it or not, is in Arcadia, Missouri. There is a picture that that was an Ursuline school of uh, for women, okay? And the Ursuline sisters um, has a stained glass window made by Amel Fry, a renowned stained glass window in America. I had an interview with him, and you, exactly that stained glass, glass window was made by Amel Fry, and it's at Arcadia, Missouri, of Jesus with three children, three different women holding the children, and um, it's it's reflecting exactly what you're saying. It's it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. It certainly sounds it. It certainly sounds it. it but uh, get this, get this, Rob. Mm-hmm. Uh, the the Vatican sold that school, and actually now it's owned by a Mormon family. Now that is strange. And yeah, yeah. It was like they wanted to, the Vatican wanted nothing to do with that school anymore, and they sold it. 1-800-610-7035 is toll-free throughout the world now here. If you'd like to give us a call at the X-Zone Radio TV show, once again, 1-800-610-7035 is toll-free worldwide. My guest this hour is Carolyn Shield. Her website is www.bepureofheart.com. Do you think the Knights Templar are around today and that they still protect the religious secrets? Um, I do. I do think there's an organization um, that it goes all the way back from the Templars. Because at New Orleans, um, there is a Ursuline convent that's one of the oldest buildings in America. And right next to the the uh, church of where they have the Our Lady of Prompt Secure, there is what they call the Lazarus Chapel, which has got Templar um, mm-hmm. signs all over it. And I, and I think they're a protector of that site. And there's a actually a um, letter by Thomas Jefferson, who is, and they have it in that uh, convent, that says that that land is protected by the United States of America and that the local um, community has no jurisdiction over it. There's also Mm -hmm. another letter by Madison thanking uh, the sisters uh, for the Battle of 1812, in which um, New Orleans won the battle against uh, the British. We had talked briefly about the Ark of the Covenant, and, and what do you believe the Ark of the Covenant was? Well, from what I'm looking at, um, I think it had more than Ten Commandments in it. Mm-hmm. I think it had what they called the Tablets of Testimony, which I think it had a lot of knowledge given um, to us from uh, 
like either from extraterrestrials or that we had inherited from a group of people that were like Atlantis, you know, sure. like had been highly technology and lost that knowledge. And, and that's what Egypt had. And I also think that Moses, being part of the royal family, he had access to it. And I think he brought a lot of that with him in the Ark of the Covenant. You know, I, I, I personally believe that a lot of the references made in the Bible to angels are actually references to what we today call extraterrestrials. Yeah. Those yeah. who descended from the heavens. And the Greek mythology parallels Christianity and Catholicism, and yet Greek mythology is way older than right. Christianity and Catholicism. And, and you know, in Greek mythology, I, I know you know this, Zeus and the other gods mm -hmm. lived atop Mount Olympus. In Christianity yeah. and Catholicism, all the God, God and, and the angels live in heaven. Both descend. Mm -hmm. Zeus had a son with a mortal, Hercules. God had a son mm -hmm. with a mortal, Jesus. Both had special powers. So there has to be something here that not only the church does not want to admit, but a majority of the population does want does not want to admit or even exactly. investigate yeah. because it would it would shake their very foundation of reality or what they think is reality. And um, with the Tiplers, um, one of the things also that was interesting about New Orleans is, the Templars, um, one guy named Lambert D. St. Amer in, um, I don't know if you've ever read the book Hiram's Key by Lomas and Knight. No, I haven't. There's a picture of heavenly Jerusalem, and heavenly Jerusalem is a city in the clouds. In the clouds, yes, I've heard about that. And yeah. um, one of the structures has a saucer-like top to it. And when I was looking at New Orleans, the saucer that's on the ceiling next to the Ark of the Covenant is the same uh, kind of same structure as is mm -hmm. on Lambert uh, St. Omer's uh, hastily, he hastily copied this piece of uh, uh, Heavenly Jerusalem on a piece of paper be from the Knights Templar that, who originally was at the Solomon's Temple. And that's one of the few little pieces of paper that we have from that, um, from the Knights Templar when they were in the Solomon's Temple. And here it is up on the New Orleans Cathedral. Uh, Carolyn, you and I have to take our final break. Please stand by. Carolyn Shield is our special guest. www.bepureofheart.com That's www.bepureofheart.com And we'll be back on the other side of this commercial break as the Exxon continues from our studios in Hamilton, Ontario, Canada on the Exxon Broadcast Network. This is the Exxon Broadcast Network, broadcasting worldwide on broadcast affiliates and satellite program providers, including CNN Broadcast Network, Sirius Satellite Network, Star Media, Good News Radio Network, Angel Broadcast Network, Wiki Broadcast Network, and WPBN-TV. For more information on the X-Zone Broadcast Network, visit us at www.xzbn.net. Hello, I'm Pete Marsh. With my daughter Justina, we will be presenting the new radio show, Too Good To Be True. If something seems too good to be true, it usually is. But with the help of Justina's amazing gifts, we're going to gain insight into questions that don't yet have complete answers. Have you wondered who built Stonehenge and for what reason? Why are crop circles found in the same region as Stonehenge and elsewhere? Are crop circles a hoax or are they created with technologies that we have little knowledge of? Who built the pyramids in Egypt and also in other countries? How and why were they built? Was the Titanic switched with the Britannic as part of a gigantic insurance fraud or for more insidious reasons? What caused the Tunguska event when trees were flattened over an 800 square mile area in Siberia? Will the new insights be too good to be true? Well, that will depend on what you are prepared to believe. Please join us as we start on this journey together. For more information on Too Good To Be True, visit www.xzbn.net. Hi everyone, Rob McConnell here, and I wanted to spend a moment on internet streaming. Everybody has heard about internet streaming, but not many know much about it. Did you know the internet streams just about everything? Movies. From new releases to old classics. 
almost every show, every episode, and much more. But the question has always been, how do you do it? Well now, thanks to the folks at 123 Ready TV, I have the answer for you. They have developed a simple program app, 123 Ready TV, that you install on your Windows PC, Android smartphone, or Android tablet that can have you streaming like a pro in less than five minutes. You truly won't believe how much is available or how easy it is to do until you try. And for a one-time cost of only $19.99, this product is a real winner. To learn more about 123 Ready TV, visit our website at www.xzbn.net. And welcome back to the Exxon, everyone. Carolyn Shield is our special guest. www.bepureofheart.com. That's www.bepureofheart.com. In the next hour, Elizabeth Joyce is coming on, and uh, she is one of the very few psychics who is actually stepping up to the plate to come onto the show to try to explain to me why psychics worldwide did not predict the earthquake in Haiti where nearly 200,000 people lost their lives, nor did psychics predict the attempted terrorist attack on December the 25th. All I did was ask a simple question. Hey guys, how come you missed it? I didn't think that was too ridiculous. In fact, that's going to be my lead story in the January edition of the X Chronicles, which comes out this weekend. Once again, our guest this week, our our guest this weekend. Yeah, let's try this one again. Our guest uh, this hour is Carolyn Shield. Her website is www.bepureofheart.com. First of all, Carolyn, thanks very much for joining us. It's been a great pleasure having you with us. And and what would you like to leave the Exona Nation with? Oh. Um, I'll just leave a quote from the Bible, okay? <laughs> it's from Exodus um, chapter 22, verse 21, and it says... Is that the, is, is that the one that says the last person leaving, please shut the lights to Egypt off? <laughs> no way. <laughs> Something like oh, that, okay. but it's kind of it's, it's cute. <laughs> it says, um, do not mistreat an alien or oppress him, for you were aliens in Egypt. So mm. if we do see some... Uh, extraterrestrial people, be nice to them. <laughs> you, you know, you write about everything, not only about the Mary Magdalene and angels, but do you think aliens from other planets are here on this planet walking amongst us? Well, that I don't know. I really don't know. You see, I've got um, a theory. I've got a theory. Because in Genesis it said, God, God said, let us create man in our image. Okay, first of all, who is the us? Who is the us if there's only one God? But that's another show. That's a good point, that us. You're Uh right. I've read that too. Okay, so if we are made in God's image, and if, as I believe, God was a visitor to this planet, and we didn't know what to call them way back then, so we called them gods and put them in the God category. If Mm -hmm. we are created in his own image, then we are part of God. Therefore, we are aliens walking amongst us. That's a heck of a... Yeah, I agree. Yeah. There you go. Very, very possible. See what happened? We've solved 95% of all the mysteries of the world in this past hour. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> I want to thank you so much for joining us. I uh, look forward to the next time when you visit us here in the X-Zone. So from everyone oh, Rob, here... Rob, thank you for having me. I was thrilled. Thank you. All right, you. you take care of yourself, Carolyn, and uh, stay warm in uh, Dallas, in Houston www.bepureofheart.com That's www.bepureofheart.com Oh, what's that, Todd? The Vatican just called? They want my membership card back? No. They can't have it back. Oh, what what do you mean there's a funny-looking black car with guys outside? Oh, well, we'll take care of that during this break as the Exxon continues. Live from our studios in Hamilton, Ontario, Canada on the all-new Exxon Broadcast Network. Elizabeth Joyce is up next with me on the other side of this break at six and a half minutes past. So whatever you do, don't go away. And if you do, get right back.